everyone, Richard Robbins here. What I want to talk to you about today is what is that one thing that successful people do that unsuccessful people don't? I get asked all the time, like, what are the top people doing? Why are they producing great results? And I think everybody's looking for some, you know, magic formula, magic answer. But I remember Jim Rohn, one of my great mentors, unfortunately passed a few years ago, but he said there's something called the great mystery. He said, think about this. You take 100 people in a room, they're at a training program, they're at a seminar, and he said 10 of those people will walk out of that seminar and they will change their business and change their life based on something they learned or they heard. But he said that there's the other 90%, which is the great mystery. They all heard exactly the same thing, right? They're in the same place, heard the same speaker, and they walk out and they say things like, oh yeah, you know, it was really good, yeah, yeah, it was, it was wonderful, you know, but, but heard a lot of that stuff before, and they do nothing with it, and what? Nothing changes. Let's think about real estate. Would you all agree with me that a very small percentage of agents control a very large percentage of the market? We know that's true. That means there's a large percentage of agents, right, competing for this little bit that is left. Is it 90-10, like the great mystery Jim Rome was talking about? Probably right around there. Well, I learned a great lesson. It was last year, this coaching client was sitting in the very front row of one of my promo talks to set up one of our upcoming events. Now, this is a multi-million dollar producer, sitting right in the front row, right? Heard me speak many, many, many times, but she's back, sitting in the front row. Went through my whole seminar, I see her taking all these great notes and everything else, and two days later I get an email from her. She goes, Rich, that idea, remember the cue you talked about, the communication update electronically? Like update your clients every single month and what's going on in the marketplace? She goes, well I've created a draft, will you have a look and tell me what you think? Well I read it over, it was absolutely brilliant. And she said at the bottom, can you get this back to me as soon as possible because I want it to go out by the end of the week. Now think about that, heard an idea a few days before, within 48 hours had a draft, within a couple more days it was out. What did she do that most people don't do? Took action. Look at this, Mark Arnstein, another great coaching client, right? He works with Allison, one of our coaches. He works in this community in North Toronto, and he has a little, you know, North Toronto Living TV. you know, he has a website all set up, and he supports the community. Allison said to him, hey Mark, you know what you should do? Why don't you create a little neighborhood guide? In here we've got restaurants, we've got the subway, we've got the parks, we've got all the coffee shops, right? A great neighborhood guide that he can hand out at open houses, he can give to clients, he can put on the table beside the cash register of the businesses. Got the idea? Guess what? But a month later, what shows up? The guide. Here's the mystery. It really is no mystery. You know what the top people do? Like all the people we're coaching that are producing great results, they take action. They make a decision, they take action, they make a decision, they take action. That's the difference. Everybody else sees this great idea and go, boy, isn't that brilliant, right? You know, maybe tell somebody about it, what do they do? Nothing. So here's my message. There is no great secret. There is no magic answer. You know what it is? Success is work. Success is taking consistent action, learning the new ideas, implementing them, and watch your business grow. Thanks for being with us, and remember this, excellence is never an accident.